Hello, good people. It's Joe Siemens of the Rhapsody Project here, coming to you on Chinook lands, and want to talk to you about some alternative banjo techniques. This is for those of you, you're in a jam, and you feel like the claw hammer style doesn't really work for what's happening musically, or you just want to mix it up with what you're doing rhythmically to support your singing or to support someone else uh, playing chords. And so we're gonna play the Midnight Special and we're gonna use first a technique that I call chunking, right? Just playing uh, down strokes on each, every beat, one, two, three, four. So in this song, we're gonna play um, just strumming down. You can use your thumb or I like to use my fingernail for a little more of a, of a um, potent sound. So we, I'm muting my drone string. I'm just leaving that out of the equation for now. And I'm kind of simulating uh, a very simplified version of what someone on a four string, what's called a tenor banjo would do. Okay, so I'm gonna just strum down. So my thumb is wrapped around and muting the drone string or I'm just avoiding it. My, in, my index finger or one of my fingers is gonna bar to play the first chord of the song. We're just playing a C this way, not this way, but a very simple um, single bar. This is all in open G tuning. So my strings from high to low are D, B, G, D. And so that open chord is a G. And if I go second fret, that'd be A, fourth fret, that'd be B, fifth fret, that'd be C. So I've got that going. My thumb wraps around, or I use my pinky alternatively to just mute the drone string because your effect you want is to go strum. And then the second time you strum, as soon as you get it ringing, you're gonna release the tension. You're gonna release the pressure off of the strings and mute the, you're not muting with your palm. You're just strumming downward. Ring, chunk, ring, chunk. Okay, the effect becomes like this. Let the midnight special shine its light on me. Let the midnight special shine its ever loving light on me. So more if you're playing with people who are kind of playing more of a swing style, this is a really useful right hand chunking technique. It's really a right and left hand technique, right? But you need to do all closed position chords. If I can't, I can't chunk in this style with open strings, right? I can't chunk on this. It just sounds noisy and uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna give me the control I need. So chunking, really great technique. And, and I'll go in another video and show you the shapes I'm using there. But that's your go-to for playing 4-4 four, four in a more of like a jazz feel. Emphasize the two and the four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right? And you can hear sometimes this is ringing the whole time and sometimes that'll work and sometimes it won't, okay? Enjoy chunking and hit me up in the comments with any questions. Please like and subscribe. Consider a donation to the Rhapsody Project. I appreciate you hanging out. Please check out all our videos for this song of the month the Midnight Special. Talk to you soon. Peace.